Hey guys, it's Denise from Lumahead.com and on this video, I wanna show you how to make fingerless gloves. I do recommend that you watch the video completely before attempting the project. Let's start with the slip knot. If you can't make a slip knot, just wrap the working yarn around the anchor peg. That's gonna work just fine. Then wrap all your pegs. We're gonna be using the U-wrap version of the knit stitch. So you're going to half wrap your peg and use these two fingers to keep hold of your working yarn. Knit the bottom loop over the top and then just continue to do this U-wrap knit stitch around your whole loom. Now we're gonna knit the double rib stitch, which is knit two, purl two, 15 rolls for women and 20 for men. I've marked my looms where I want my knit stitches. So I'm gonna start with my two U-wrap knit stitches. Then my purl stitches. You start by putting the working yarn under the existing loop. Scoop up that loop, create a new one, Take the old loop off, put the new loop on, and pull. All right, we're gonna do this again. Scoop up the bottom working yarn up, create a new loop. Take the old loop off, put the new loop on, and pull. That's the pattern. Two knits, two purls. Two knits, two purls. Keep going. After a few rows, don't forget to remove the slip knot, please. Or things can get really ugly. Once you're done knitting your rows, it's time to fold up the cuff. You're gonna be getting that first row that you knitted, those loose, big loose loops, and you're gonna bring them upward, including that slip knot that you made. And keep your working yarn always towards the front undo the slip knot and you're going to put it in the fold just lay it right there and then grab those loose loops and mount them back onto the pegs and try to pull on them just a little bit this is going to help with those last ones that get really really tight so you grab them you pull them and mount them keep going Make sure that the loops you just put on are on top of the existing loop and knit off. Now we're going to go back to the double rib stitch and we're going to do 30 rows for women and 35 rows for men. Next we're going to start working on the thumb and we're going to knit flat for six rows. Tighten your yarn on that last peg you knit. And then we're just going to go back and forth, back and forth. When you turn directions, you're going to skip that first peg on both sides. So we're not going to knit this peg. When we turn, we don't knit either one of these. Okay, so now that I've turned directions, I'm going to start with that second peg, which I'm going to purl that second one and then go back to my rib stitch pattern where I'm going to knit two and purl two and continue. Thank you. 
So I knit that last stitch and then I turn and I start my pattern again. Remember when you're on the other end that even though that peg would normally be purled, you're going to knit it because you're knitting flat. And then when you turn, you're going to skip it and go to the second peg and go back to your regular pattern, which is a purl. And then you're going to continue. Knit two, purl two. Now we're going to go back to knitting in the round for 10 rows. So when we knit that last peg for the thumb, we're just gonna go ahead right on over to the next peg and start the rib stitch pattern. It's time to cast off and we're gonna use a modified version of the basic bind off. So everywhere you've marked, you're going to knit two pegs instead of one, which is what you normally do with the basic bind off. So we're gonna knit these first two that are marked. Well, I've marked them. And we're gonna remove one loop off the second peg, put it on the first one, tighten up that stitch, go ahead and knit off. Remove that loop off that peg one and put it on peg two. Now we're gonna go back to your regular basic bind off. So you're gonna knit peg two, take the loop off, put it on one, tighten, knit off, and take that loop and put it on the empty peg. And again, since these are not two marked, only empty, you're gonna knit off, put one on two on one, tighten the loop, knit off, put that loop on the empty peg. And we're still not there, so we're gonna knit. Oops, almost made a boo-boo there. No, 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 not there, sorry. You're gonna knit the second peg, take the loop off, put it on one, tighten, knit off, and put it on the empty peg. Now you're back to where there are two that are marked off and so you're gonna modify here by knitting two pegs. All right, this is where we change and then take loop on peg two, put it on one, tighten, knit off, and take the loop off of one and put it on the empty peg. Now we go back to the regular one where you knit the second peg. All right, I'm gonna keep going so you can see how this works, okay? If necessary, rewind and start again. Okay, we're on the last peg. You're gonna knit off, take the loop off of peg two, put it on peg one, and you're gonna knit off and take that loop off. Get your scissors and cut off the working yarn and pull that loop. You'll see on the other side is your thumb hole. And now, It's time to weave in the ends. I've heard complaints that I don't show how to weave in the ends, so here we go. You're gonna turn your project inside out and find that working yarn and thread a needle. Now you're just gonna feed that yarn through your stitches where the bumpies are until you feel like it's up high enough and then you could just make a knot, cut it off so it's not too much excess, get a crochet hook and feed that last little bit in so it hides 
and then just turn your work back around and with these U-wrap knit stitches it's a good idea to stretch your stitches. So because it's done with a rip stitch, this project is going to work well for just about anybody with the exception of really tiny little guys. It's not going to fit a small child. But other than that, it works good for both women and men. And not to mention that it goes really well with the rip stitch beanie and I've given you a link to that pattern in the description so take a look there and here are a few that were shared uh, with me I thank everyone that shares pictures of my projects I thank you very very much so visit the website and of course I ask you to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe and until our next project together I give you guys big 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 hugs <laughs>